Hey, what's up guys? Are you using e-commerce to automate your online business? Then your primary responsibility is to update the inventory regularly. But updating the inventory one by one is a time consuming process. It is the practice that you should avoid, especially if there are thousands of listings. Provision sellers usually list item and update the quantity in an easy and time efficient way. It is a great news that e-commerce allows us to update listing quantity in bulk via feed file. The process may be complicated for you, but we have simplified it. And that's what that tutorial is all about. This is Shakhat and welcome back to Ecom Clips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to sync inventory from e-commerce to marketplaces. Now, let me demonstrate how you can accomplish this. You must log into your e-commerce account first. Once you are in, you need to update your inventory. But you must check if your item exists on e-commerce or not before updating the inventory. If not, then you have to add the item first by clicking add product. You can update the quantity on e-commerce either one by one searching the SKUs. This is called the manual process. There can be many warehouse but you have to update the specific warehouse you need to update the quantity. Now you can see the changes are reflecting here. Also you can do this manually from the product detail page of e-commerce. So, hover over actions and click on view now you can see the manage warehouse click on it then set the preferred quantity to the specific warehouse you want to update the quantity now click on close you can also set the reserve level here that means you can reserve a safety quantity if you need after that hover over action and click on save or can update the bulk SQS quantity using import format template. To download customize import format, hover over setting, then click on bulk import export. Now click on the button view under manual import format. Click on add new, give a name of this template, select your warehouse from here. Now click on add attribute to add the attributes on the template. You should at least Add the item SQ number and warehouse quantity. Now click on back and save the template. Now go to your manual import format view page and download the template by hovering over action and then clicking on get template. Now fill the template as how many SQs you need to update the inventory on e-commerce and then save the file. Now again hover over setting and click on bulk import export. Click on upload inventory, browse the file you saved now. Then you need to select the template name you created for updating inventory and then click on upload. Now you can see the status message that the inventory is updated or not. After finishing all this, you have to go to the all product page. Create a filter for the warehouses you have updated inventories. Click on the filter, select the warehouse from here and click on apply. Now you will find the updated quantity here. For those SQ you have updated the quantities. Now we will sync quantity with marketplaces. We will give the fourth sync now. If the marketplace SQs and e-commerce SQs are the same, then the quantity will update to the marketplaces. First select the item you need to sync, then hover over bulk action and click on sync now. If you need to sync all items together, then click on show entries, select 250. Now select all the 250 items and hover over bulk action and click on sync now. You can sync up to 250 items at a time. You have to do this multiple times if the number of products is more than 250. So guys, that's it for today's tutorial. That is how you can sync inventory from e-commerce to marketplace. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys understand all the things I have talked about how to sync inventory from e-commerce to marketplaces. If you need any further help, feel free to comment here in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel Ecom Clips. See you in the next video. Thank you.